Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, painting with non-destructive noise in Adobe Photoshop. Now a lot of times you will add noise if you're trying to match grain from a different shot, if you're trying to composite two things together and make them work. And a little tip that I always use is if you're gonna add noise, which is very digital, you need to blur that noise. But if you know how to paint with noise, then you can control the exact amount of noise and where it goes. So we're gonna use a combination of overlay layers and uh, uh, blend modes and a smart object and masks to do this, it's not that hard to set up. Let's go have a look. All right, so here I've got a composite for whatever reason. Um, it's not um, the best job as far as the noise in the background and the noise in here does not match. You can see that when I zoom in. There's a complete difference. And, and if that's the look you're looking for, great, you're done. But if you want to start to match that noise and be able to control where that noise goes, then we need to add some noise. And normally you will do that by putting noise on this layer. The problem is how do you get the noise off? I want to create a, a method where I can change the amount of noise, the amount of blur, the overall opacity of the noise and where that noise happens. And I want to do that with one layer. Ready? Check this out. Instead of using a new layer down here in the where you would normally add a new layer in the um, layers panel, in the layer menu, new layer. Start there. It's also shift control N on Windows, shift command N on the Mac. And what's important here, let's name this noise first, is this right here. So we're going to choose the overlay blend mode. And below that, we get an option to fill this with um, overlay neutral 50% gray. Watch what happens when we click on this. Click OK. It adds a gray layer that's completely showing at 100% opacity, but we can't see it. Brilliant. It's not easy to pick an exact blend mode and an exact color that disappears. And that's what this combination does. That exact amount of gray and that blend mode, even at 100%, it disappears. If you're familiar with blend modes, maybe the two most popular ones, multiply and, and screen. Multiply will only show the dark stuff, screen will only show the light stuff. Overlay is kind of like both of those. Uh, and when it's in the middle, this gray, it doesn't show anything. Ah. Now, in the past, I would have just added noise to this layer and then uh, blurred the noise on this layer. But if we convert this to a smart object, then we got some magic. So here's our noise. I'll right click to the right and convert this to a smart object. And you see the only change is this little badge in here. But the cool thing is, when we go to the filter menu and we go to noise, add noise, and I'm just gonna leave it on uh, 5%. We can go to either of these, either the uniform or the uh, Gaussian. Uh, I'd like to say, let's if we have it at Gaussian, we're gonna have to take this down a little bit, uh, maybe to three. Let's, let's leave it at three. Click OK, and look what happens here. There's our overlay layer with the noise, and because it's a smart object, we now get to have the noise on its own layer on and off. Even better, double click on the noise and we make a change. I can make it two and click OK. Come back and double click and change it to uniform and make it five and click OK. Non-destructive. All right. But as I said before, I believe the noise that's in the background that's photographic is definitely blurred. Digital noise looks digital. So I always add a Gaussian blur on top of that. So in the filter menu, blur, Gaussian blur, and do this in small increments. So you don't have to um, do it just in one pixel. That's 0.2 pixel increment. I'm gonna do that at 0.3, click OK. And now, same thing, noise and blur, uh, sorry, the Gaussian blur and the noise are both on their own separate layers. So if you want to make a change to the blur, double click and you're off to the races. But notice what's also added. When you create a filter, which is a smart filter on, an, on a uh, 
on a smart object, you also get a mask in here. So if I click in this mask, the mask is white, meaning that everything is showing within this layer. If we fill this with my foreground color, which is black, you'll see the noise disappears. So look at this recipe here. Overlay, noise, blur, noise, mask. Now I just need to paint this in. You'll notice that it, it's now gone. So these, this is my, anytime I'm working with a mask, this is my uh, recipe for getting the right tool. B, D, X, zero. B, get a brush. D is default the colors. X is flipping the black to the, to the front. And zero changes the opacity to 100%. So that guarantees I'm painting with a, a solid black brush. Now that's the, the normal way I'll paint something out. But in this example, I'm going to actually paint with whites. You'll notice that when I tap X, 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 I'm flipping black and white. So I'm going to paint white. Look at this. I'm painting in noise just where I want this. And if I hit the X key, now I'm painting with black, I'm painting noise out, I'm painting noise in, and at any time I could take this whole layer and change the opacity and take that noise down, up and down. Seriously, man, you can match anything in here with any layer, and if I had something like a Wacom tablet, then I could have pressure sensitivity of that noise on top of it. So don't, um, be settling for just a noise on a layer, or God forbid, don't ever add noise directly onto your image. Make sure it's changeable, non-destructive, and fully customizable. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com, or there's a special URL down in the description just for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Yeah.